And welcome back to Ozarks Live. Of course, earlier we talked about Rachel West. You want her, you know, on the apocalypse squad. That's on <laughs> right. the apo- but it turns out her son this Denver dude. may actually be the one, especially if you like morals, because this guy knows how to find him. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, That's right. so cool. That way. You've been morale hunting recently, huh? Yeah. Have you? Uh, where did you go? Um, we went a little bit past um, our river, um, just down. I ran a little bit far. That's where I found this one. You found that one? So Every- we were hiking. So we find them down by the river, just, uh-huh. just above. Uh, you'll always hear that they grow where the may apples grow. And so that is 100% true. A lot of times, though, we find them just outside in a sunny area around a dead, dying tree. And so we walk circles around the trees. And as soon as we find one, we kind of separate. And he'll go up and I'll go down. Oh. And really? we keep our eyes to the ground. But this one was actually hiding underneath a little leaf. And so this older one was underneath the leaf, which is why it's here. Let me turn it so that the camera can actually sh- see where it starts kind of, uh, I don't want to say rotting, but it, it is not a beautiful specimen as much as, say, this one. But you can still cut those parts off. It's just where it didn't get enough light or it got a little deformed. Uh, musher- uh, morels will always be completely hollow. So Denver, would you mind taking this knife? And would you, let's get this one right here. Let's okay. cut that one straight, no, straight down the middle, long oh. ways on it, because we want to show them how hollow it is. Oh, it is. Okay. And then you're going to hold that up to the camera and show them how that half there is completely Okay, hold it real still like that. Yeah, just like that. Real still. Look at, okay, you see how hollow it is, and you can see how easily you could cut through it. So a pure, a true morel will always be hollow like this on the inside. Okay. Now, Denver, I needed to tell you something. Whenever someone asks you where you found the morels, you're not supposed to tell them. That's your secret. Oh, don't you just say in a, forest, yeah. in a forest, somewhere beyond in a forest. Way in the jungle, anything like that, but don't ever be. You, you, <laughs> she's <laughs> just trying to find all the morels now. No, my secret's out. Yeah. Well, so well they're you, showing up though. So okay. it's been a sl- it's been a slow start. Uh, we're gonna go hunt down in uh, the Reed Springs area this weekend. They should be up really good there. They're up in Fair Grove. This last week we were up in St. Louis on a private walk, and they were up there, but they weren't up at our property. So it's just about those microclimates. Yeah. So really, it really, it really where the where the temperature. So they like there's, a there's soil no temperatures. blanket. There, there's no blanket. Oh, they'll be in all over Missouri. Eh, they'll be spotty all right. Over. What I do know is they need a lot of rain, which we have had, yes. and uh, they need good heat without it getting too hot. They like soil temps about uh, 50 degrees. When you get a really hot day like today, it makes me very nervous because it's very easy for them to get turned off just as much as they, they mm-hmm. start. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get If we have two or three more days in the 80s, they won't show back up. But if we keep those ground temps where it's dropping down at 45 at it's night, very, we might have another three weeks of very specific regime that they fruiting. want. Yeah. But I actually brought a couple examples here. Uh, these are some just in a jar, mm-hmm. but these are from um, Amazon. And so this is what $26 of dried morels looks like. Just to give you an idea of how how abundance and how much money Is you can imagine our Ozarks. that why people go hunting them all the time? Oh, well, I would fact, never sell. I would never sell them for twenty. That would be like a fifty dollar jar if I had yes, to dry I that many. I'd be like, no, no way. You know how much we could? Because you do how have many to collect a we bunch. Could make? I've got a question though, Denver. Do you like to eat the morels? Yes. Do you? We saute them in butter, then we just eat them. It's really good. Mm. Saute them in butter sounds delicious. Rachel, do you, you don't do like that? frying them? Yeah, I, I think well, I've you done did it that here you. before, yes, and they were just have. delicious. Well, hopefully this next week I'll bring you in a bunch of different uh, spring wildflowers and some morel butter to stuff them with. How about that? Like some Ooh. kind of that works, right? Yeah. I'll get you some. I'll get you some uh, different tubers out of the forest and give you morel butter to slather all over them. Or just morel or just butter. Just morel butter. Take, okay. I can, I'll you hear that, Denver? We just got a, just just morel butter. That's all they need. Morel butter and bread. And bread. That's it. Right. That, oh. That's it. Toast. That's all right. Speak in yeah. Tom's language. <laughs> she she totally now we're gets talking. It. Way to go, dude. <laughs> all right. Well, here. Right. You have, do you have another minute? Or are we? Can I show you wood sorrel? I don't you know. Have Thirty have. seconds. Okay. okay all right. So wood sorrel grows underneath your trees. It has trifolite leaves. I feel like I'm on a test now. Violet-like flowers, but it's very, very sour. And right now, there are thousands of these all under the forest canopy. So if you're out looking for morels and you see 
this beautiful violet wood sorrel growing around the base of a tree. Mm -hmm. They have little pickles for seeds. They're sour, but it's completely edible. So you can oh. still go home with pesto, even if you don't go home with mushrooms. Oh, you make a oh, pesto out of it. Okay. Or a sour lemonade, however you want to go. Oh, that, my God. I bet dinner time at your house is the best, isn't well, yes. it? Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that you love Good to go hunting answer. with your mom. That is so <laughs> me too. cool. Thank you. Andrew. All right. I need somebody when my eyes don't work anymore getting me the morels. Yeah. Check <laughs> out Eating the Ozarks. And thank you, Rachel in Denver. Bye, guys. Great Bye. stuff. All right. Coming up, financial advice with Joe Latour and 417 foodist Billy Dove has some dining suggestions. Does he ever? You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.